Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. We have some news for y'all. Texans head coach David Culley just announced that he's canceling next week's mandatory minicamp after having great attendance and getting the work they expected to get done. And Culley says that this was worked out with the team leaders from the outset that it was uh, happened before they decided on this before OTA started. So um, I'm here joined with Roman. What do you think? Um, what are your instant reactions on this news? Uh, my instant reactions are it's like a crazy situation. Like we're one of the worst teams on paper and we end up canceling camp when we're one of the main teams that needs the camp, especially a camp to like get all the new guys, I guess, um, chemistry to get them used to the playbook, get used to all of that. And then to cancel it, I mean, it's kind of crazy. I don't really get why you would cancel it. Um, but yeah, that's my instant reaction or thoughts about it. Yeah, and if we did have mini camp, that's when ends mandatory too. And we all know Deshaun Watson was not going to report based uh, most obviously, right? Because after saying all that he said, it would not make sense for him to attend. So that would mean the Texans would start fining him. So it kind of seems a little odd that the Texans are canceling something that was mandatory. And we're one of the teams that needs the most help. Obviously, we sign like 50 new people, I think. Uh, it's kind of hard to count at this point. And so, um, like, if anything, we're one of the teams that needs these um, mini camps, the most practice that we can get. Like, if it was a team like the Buccaneers who brought all the, all their players back and they're defending Super Bowl champs, yes, I get it. Like, you're canceling a mini camp, right? That's not as important as a team that is kind of uh, in the bottom of the league at this point without Deshaun. And, uh, kind of needs that extra practice and so kind of seems odd um that we're canceling it seems like a missed opportunity but uh so it really makes you think that um the Texans are they having second thoughts of trading to Sean is Deshaun having second thoughts on trying to leave the Texans there's so many questions now uh, honestly I could kind of see Nick maybe at least attempting to repair the relationship I mean first we got the report that what was I think um, the owner, Cal, he was trying to like help with the lawyers or something like that, something involved with the Deshaun situation with the court case. And then now he cancels the camp to, to not, to be not, I guess, faced or what's it, what's the word? To be forced to find him. I think it was like $93,000 if he missed the mandatory mini camp. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe he's trying to help him, I guess, trying to repair the relationship saying, okay, here, we're going to cancel the camp. We don't have to find you just show up or something like that to the main training camp or something like that. But it's very interesting. And I believe it's fully because of Deshaun Watson, why we canceled it. Cause there's no really other explanation on why we would cancel the camp. As you were saying, if it was a team like Tampa Bay, then yeah, I could see it. But for us, 50 new players, it doesn't make sense at all. But yeah. Yeah. And like, I see like, like uh, Aaron Rodgers, he was fine. Um, just like I think yesterday, for not attending mini camp, but I feel like his position on leaving because of ownership makes more sense from Aaron Rodgers' standpoint since he's been there for a long time. He's been through so much there, but Sean Watson, just a year removed, uh, I think not a year, but only staying here for four years and then deciding to want out. It's kind of weird. And, uh, but like maybe Deshaun, like maybe the Texans feel like they won't get enough trade compensation for Deshaun, at least this off season. With all the lawsuits, it's still not resolved. So maybe next offseason, they'll think that maybe he'll uh, – there's, there's a better chance of a better trade package in return. Or maybe Deshaun Watson realized that um, maybe like they – obviously we don't know their internal conversations, but maybe Deshaun Watson realized that maybe he doesn't – he has second thoughts on leaving the Texans and just maybe realized that – I don't know. It's just uh, – it's going to be really complicated to work all of these things out. I don't know. Maybe he realized how good he has it here. I don't know, because we literally treated him like a king. And uh, it's kind of weird how this all has played out. I would have, I, I personally thought Sean Watson would be traded soon after June 1st, which is when um, the cap hit of when of trading him would have been much lower. But it's kind of interesting to see it. It's now June 9th and um, it still hasn't been traded. So, Obviously, they're probably having second thoughts. It's it's a pretty big trade to even work out in the first place. But, yeah, that's my thoughts right now. Oh, uh, yeah. And another interesting to see or another interesting thing to see is if maybe Green Bay Packers also cancel their 
mini camp next week. I'm not sure if they have it next week or when they have it, but if they end up canceling it, maybe it is 100% because of the quarterbacks. Maybe they don't want to, I guess, ruin the relationship even more than what it is at this point with the quarterbacks. Maybe they're trying to get them back into the building or at least trying to get on talking into a talking phase with them again or something like that. But, yeah, um, it's going to be very interesting to see. I was also kind of surprised that he wasn't traded, like, around June 1st or right after June 1st. Um, maybe, as you were saying, the compensation just isn't there. They're not – they weren't, I guess, excited about what the trade packages were looking like or what they thought it would look like. So maybe they're just holding off on it. But not for canceling the camp so he doesn't get fined, it doesn't look like they care about trading him or not. Like, it looks like they don't want to trade him because why would they – care if he's mad or not about the fine but yeah it's gonna be very interesting to see in the next couple of weeks and then leading up to the real training camp it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens yeah and yeah that's pretty much it for the video let us know your thoughts on this whole situation and as always be sure to like subscribe and turn on post notifications thank you all for watching peace